Welcome to another edition of Tesla Tips and Trips. And on today's program, we are going to discuss Plasti Dip versus powder coating your wheels. What should you do? Why should you do either one? We'll let you know here on Tesla Tips and Trips. All right, so we're going to be discussing the difference between uh, Plasti Dipping your wheels and powder coating them professionally. Um, at some point, if you've got the uh, Tesla Model 3 Sport Wheels, um, you can tell that uh, these have been Plasti Dipped. And I will show you the details about what exactly has happened to them. I Plasti Dipped them about, uh, about a year and a half ago. So they've lasted a year and a half. They um, are pretty durable, more durable than you think. This is about 10 coats of Plasti Dip. Um, it took about all day. You have to uh, wrap your brakes and your calipers in plastic, um, and you have to have a lot of patience to do this project. Um, the other thing that you have to, to realize that you have to get all the different angles when you're spraying, um, you're gonna have drips. So you could maybe see one here. I'm gonna do some B-roll, and you're gonna see all the little details. There's some scratches, some nicks. Um, but overall, I mean, 10 coats, they're pretty durable, and they feel, at least this is, I used a, a product called Hyper Dip. You can get it on the Dip Your Wheels, Dip Your Car. No, Dip Your Dip Your Car. Com, I think it is is where I got it. You get the whole set. It was about eighty dollars. Hyper Dip, and what it is is it's um, it's paint mixed in with Glossifier. So I wanted a uh, kind of a not a flat black, but uh, kind of a, a a satin black, and that's what I got here. A little little bit of shine, but not too much, and uh, it's all in one can. You only have to worry about the um, the, the one can to do that. So, took four cans, one can per wheel. Um, like I said, I did it about a year and a half ago, 10 coats, it was an all day project. Uh, lots of wrapping, lots of spraying, lots of, you know, kind of kind of labor. So, uh, that said, uh, you're gonna see some B-roll uh, coming up on how these have, have weathered, how they have fared. Like I said, on this particular wheel, this is the, the right rear, at, at least right now it is and I've got some dings and scratches and, you know, just stuff that happens to a car when you're driving it, on the road, whatever. Um, but I'd say a year and a half, 80 bucks, it's not too bad. Especially if you wanna see uh, how this is gonna look on your car before you laid down the cash to have it professionally powder coated. So uh, this is gonna go in tomorrow to uh, have them professionally powder coated. I found a shop that actually has loaner wheels. So I'm gonna go in, they're gonna take these off, they're gonna give me some loaner wheels, I still have my car 20, 30 minutes later, and they're gonna call me when the these are done. So then I'll, I'll drive back, they'll take the loaner wheels off, put these back on, and uh, it's good to go. So uh, let's take a look at how these have weathered over the last uh, year and a half or so. All right, taking a look at my right front here. Uh, right here, you got some scuffing. That happened recently, I think, on the freeway I hit something. Got some spotting from when I did spray it. Um, there's a spot there as well. A big nick here, I hit a piece of metal. But that's gonna happen even if uh, they were stock or, or powder coated or whatever. You're just gonna have some battle scars. Um, but overall, not bad. And you gotta figure, when you're doing something like this, it's how it looks from far away. You're gonna see the flaws up close. But from far away, it still looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the uh, right rear. All right, so right rear, I could see a few little few little nicks here and there. I mean, it's gonna happen over a year and a half with 10 coats of uh, the Hyper Dip. And by the way, you can clean these wheels with the Hyper Dip, just like any other wheel. Whatever you use to clean your current wheels, um, these held up well, lots and lots of car washes. Let's take a look at the uh, driver's side now. Okay, over here on the left side, that's dirt. That can be washed off. Same with that, that's dirt. But I do wanna show you this. I missed a spot. This is all under spray right here. And you could tell I, I probably had it at a different angle. It was facing down or whatever. Couldn't get all the different angles. But um, this is what happens when you, you do stuff on your own. The whole point of me plastic dipping these wheels was to see how it would look, see if I would like it. And it actually ended up lasting longer than I would think. So here's a, uh, here's a bubble from uh, overspray. So I had overspray, underspray on the same wheel. 
So anyway, I, I literally did it just to see how they would look on the car, see if I liked the look, and it ended up lasting a lot longer than I thought. And finally, this is the, uh, the driver's side front. You can see some scuffing, some scratches there, some scratches here, some underspray right there in the middle, and the edging is actually kind of hard to get as well if you're doing this on your own. Now, this is not a DIY on how to do it. I'm just showing you how they last it. Actually, look at this. It's kind of peeling off here. So I figured it was time. It was time to have this professionally done. They are gonna pull the plastic dip off of it and uh, they're gonna start from scratch. And next time you see these wheels, they are gonna be powder coated and they're gonna be looking pretty new. Thanks for watching another edition of Tesla Tips and Trips. This time, the pros and cons of plastic dipping your Tesla wheels. Uh, in a future video, we're gonna talk about uh, powder coating because that's what I had done. Uh, moving from plastic dip to powder coating. We're gonna be doing that in a future video, so keep it here on the channel. Thank you, as always, for liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell. All those things put this on our face. And there you go. Catch us on the next video. Tesla tips and trips. <laughs>